welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to share some of my tips for self myofascial release, aka foam rolling or post workout or pre workout mobility work, also known as death after workouts <laughs> because it's so painful sometimes. But trust me, once you get through it, you feel like a million bucks. <laughs> If you like the video, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see weekly videos of my fitness journey so you never miss my workouts, my tips and tricks. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Snapchat, where I like to post all of my daily activity <laughs> and you get to see me. <laughs> so I actually bought this foam roller from I think Marshalls when I was back in the States and it was super cheap like I don't know 10 12 bucks I absolutely love it the the black ones are usually the tougher ones this one um, definitely gives a little bit so it's a little nicer <laughs> when you're first starting out black ones don't really give too much so you're definitely gonna fill it in um, they hurt <laughs> so also I bought this when I was in college it was a requirement for one of my classes in college and so I had to buy it and I'm so glad that I did because this oh gosh this is this is amazing this is the best investment that I've ever done um, this is called the stick this one definitely gives a little so it like has a little flex to it and it has these little rollers um, I don't recommend you using this without any clothing because Sometimes it'll pinch your skin <laughs> and that's not, oh, that doesn't feel great. So um, I highly recommend this. This one really gets into the like weird areas where the foam roller can't. Um, and obviously you can, you're applying your own pressure to it. So it's also really nice and you can adjust it accordingly to how you feel. If you feel like you need to put more pressure, you can always put more pressure. If you feel like you don't want pressure then don't put as much pressure um, this is also really good for like your back and neck area but that one is a little tough when you're doing it by yourself so this one I would recommend using um, if you have like a partner or someone to help you especially with your back and neck area because those are always hard places to get but other than that you can get all your legs and uh, lower back and stuff like that so yes First one is the hamstring, so what you want to do is put the foam roller underneath your legs and kind of elevate yourself a little bit and just roll nice and slow. I recommend that if you feel uh, pain, it, you don't necessarily have to just roll on it. You can leave it there until you actually feel a release and then you continue to roll, roll it out until it feels good. <laughs> the next one is your abductors. So you are going to be laying on your stomach and then you put the foam roller in under your, one of your legs and then you just kind of roll sideways and it really feels amazing when when you're rolling that particular area at least for me I feel great the next one you're targeting your perineals since I did a lot of like jumping activity yesterday and today it definitely helps release that tension in my calves next one we're targeting our gastrocnemius and our solus aka calves it feels so good you basically want to just cross your legs so that you are feeling the pressure on that particular calf and then just roll it out this one can be very very painful it is your quads sometimes it really really hurts but i recommend you if you are rolling you feel it just kind of move sideways to target um your whole quad on um, the next one you're going to be laying on the actual foam roller and you're basically going to elevate your butt a little bit and just kind of roll on your back i really like this one because it actually pops my back every time that i do it so it feels amazing if you're a girl i recommend you guys putting up your hair and if you have a hoodie watch out because sometimes when you're rolling it'll get caught under and then <laughs> that's not always fun when it pulls your hair and finally the last movement is targeting your piriformis you actually feel how it like at least for me i actually feel it jumping from muscle to muscle as i'm rolling so <laughs> it's kind of interesting it's nothing bad just take it slow make sure that you're feeling it and like i said if you feel pain just kind of hold it there let the tension release and then continue to roll 
So do's and don'ts, you definitely don't want to do it like this. <laughs> it's not supposed to be fun, guys. It's supposed to be painful. Remember that. Next, we're moving on to the stick, and I'll just show you guys a couple of my favorite ones that I like to do. Just really get into every part. Sometimes on the foam roller, it can be really hard to get your glutes. So I really like using this one for my glutes. I usually always ask my husband to help me, so I'll lay down and he'll usually roll, roll my glutes. I find that this helps a lot with the visibility of cellulite. Before, when I would do it regularly, I noticed a big change in the visibility of like my cellulite. And I think a lot has to do with the fact that, that you are massaging your... <laughs> you're just massaging it out and so if you look at how cellulite like the formation and how it forms um in order for you to kind of spread that out it's always really good to use a stick and that usually helped me when i would use it regularly i also really like using it on my neck so i usually just grab it like here Oh my gosh, I got goosebumps. <laughs> it feels so good. Ah! I'm not even playing, guys. I have like goosebumps. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, God. I don't know if the camera can see it, but I have goosebumps. It gave me goosebumps. That's how you know it feels good. Ah! I feel it all in my legs. I did some deadlifts yesterday, so I definitely feel the tightness in my lower back. So this one, this move is perfect. Um, I really like it because it targets those, ugh, those tight areas that you have where the foam roller can't reach. So this one is perfect. I, I do recommend you guys investing in either one is fine. Foam rollers, obviously, it's nice for like getting the big uh, muscles, but this one is also really nice to just get in the those tight areas. I hope that you guys incorporate it in your daily workout routine, um, whether it's before or after your workout. I just recommend it in general because it definitely helps your range of motion and it helps you know prevent injury it helps with your flexibility it has a lot of positive benefits so i hope you guys liked it and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye yeah. i like to make money get turn i like to make money get turn i like to